Hey there everyone, thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to go over how to set up Apple Pay and how to use it on various devices. It's actually very simple and the only time consuming thing is the waiting you'll be doing in line at the store or shop you're at. So let's get into it right away. First things first, let's get Apple Pay set up on your device. Head over to the wallet app on your phone, tap the plus sign, and the app will guide you through adding a credit or debit card. It's kind of like teaching your phone a new trick, the one that'll literally pay off down the road. Moreover, you'll either snap a pic of your card or enter the details manually if you're feeling nostalgic for the good old typing days. Then after a quick verification with your bank, you're all set. Now onto the fun part, using Apple Pay. So imagine you're at your favorite coffee shop and after debating whether to get the usual or try that new seasonal flavor, it's time to pay. Well, there's no need to dig through your bags or pockets because your phone is ready to go. All you have to do is double click the power button, at which point your default card pops up ready for action. Then hold your iPhone near the payment reader, wait for a beep, a check mark, and there you go, you've paid. That's all there really is to it. However, perhaps you've forgotten your phone and wallet at home and you're on a run, but you need water and all you have on you is your Apple Watch. Well, you're not out of luck because your Apple Watch is not just tracking your steps, you can also use it to perform transactions. It's very similar to paying with your phone again as you double click the side button on your watch, your default card will then gracefully glide onto the screen. Now, stretch your arm towards the payment reader. No need for dramatic gestures, a simple casual move will do. Hold the watch face near the reader and wait for that magical ping accompanied by a gentle vibration on your wrist. And that's it, you've just paid with your Apple Watch, leaving everyone in awe that you forgot your wallet and phone. But there is still more to Apple Pay because it's not just for those face-to-face -face moments, it's also helpful with online shopping. For example, when you're in an app and spot something you've got to have, Apple Pay is there to speed things up. Hit that Apple Pay button at checkout and it's like jumping to the front of the line. Your billing, shipping and contact info are filled in automatically because who has time to type all that out every time? So review your details, make sure it's all good and then confirm with Face ID, Touch ID or your passcode. And just like that, your purchase is on its way to you. No filling out tedious forms required. Now, when paying online, there's a lot of things you need to take into consideration, such as hackers and trackers and cookies and all things of that nature. So to protect yourself when you're shopping online, you might want to use a VPN such as ExpressVPN because it's great for online payments as it uses strong security to keep your info safe and has lots of servers worldwide, making it fast and reliable. And it won't keep records of your online activities thanks to a no logs policy and has a special feature to protect you if your connection drops. This makes sure that your money related tasks online are secure and run smoothly. If this tickles your fancy, you can try out our ExpressVPN link Link in the description that saves you 49% on their 12 month plan, plus you get three months for free. So it's not too shabby if you ask me. If you don't know what a VPN is though, you can check out the video in the description as well, where I review ExpressVPN to get some insight on what it does for you and how you can use it. And that's all there really is to it. By getting the hang of these steps, you're getting all savvy and 21st century like. I hope that was easy and straightforward enough, but if you do have any further questions, let me know in the comment section down below so that you're not cursing at me when you're ready to pay and something doesn't work. Nevertheless, that's all I have for you guys today. If you want more content like this, then consider subscribing and liking the video to let us know. But I'm heading out now, so until the next video, take care.